The day after Thanksgiving in the United States is known as Black Friday. It's when prices are slashed and the biggest bargains of the year are on offer. Retailers are enjoying bumper sales. But it was a complicated day at Walmart after hundreds of current and former employees took strike action over their paying conditions. Cindy Murray has worked inside American retail giant Walmart for more than 13 years. But today, she is marching outside the store with her fellow employees to protest what she says are poor working conditions. We want them to truly listen at the problems that are going on in their stores across the country. We say fight back! Cindy's one of thousands of Walmart employees in cities all across the United States staging a mass one-day protest. Workers say they're angry Walmart stores pay most employees less than $10 an hour, despite company profits of more than $15 billion last year. The wages they pay are paying us now, I made back in the 70s, early 80s. And we, make, we do the work, they get the money. But Walmart says the majority of the company's more than one million workers are content with the conditions offered by the company. And the nationwide protests reflect the views of a disgruntled minority it will not tolerate. There, there are some actions that we will take if people don't follow our, our company policies. And they did. Walmart called in police to break up one protest in Southern California. Nine people were arrested. Walmart released a statement calling the protests made for TV events and saying the large majority of protesters aren't even Walmart workers. The stakes are especially high because Black Friday kicks off the most important shopping season of the year. On average, we estimate that Black Friday weekend sales can account for up to 10 to 11 percent of overall holiday sales. It's typically when the bulk of their profits are earned. Sales are expected to grow a little over 4% this year, slightly below last year's 5.6%. Online sales are expected to stay strong, jumping 12% from last year. Stores have been taking advantage of the public's web savvy by offering mobile apps and online promotions that lure shoppers in the store. Early signs show that sales are strong. We had the best Black Friday ever at Walmart. With shoppers snatching up electronics, toys, and some unexpected items. Last night, Walmart sold more than 1.8 million towels. Whatever they're buying, retailers just hope shoppers keep coming back until Christmas Day. I found some very good bargains. Bath and Body Works, Abercrombie and Fitch, Hollister. Brilliant. Love it here. Absolutely love it. The run-up to Christmas is vitally important to retailers. I actually didn't get any Christmas shopping done. I just shopped for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Some stores opened earlier than usual on Thursday night. Despite the crisis, electronics goods and toys were expected to disappear quickly from the shelves. Well, we've seen that in good times and bad, the last thing parents got back on is the holiday present for their, for their kids. So even in the depths of the recession in 2008 and 2009, our sales grew. Uh, during the holiday period, and so uh, we feel that toy sales are somewhat independent of the economic situation in the U.S. Some surveys show a large increase in online sales. Either shoppers believe the web has better bargains, or they think it's simply less exhausting than tearing around the shops. 